so the Bills just got the Dolphins out of here in a game a lot of people thought the Dolphins were going to win, that the Dolphins really should have won because going into it, the Bills were planning on putting Josh Allen at the bench at some point for Barkley. And from the beginning, for almost the beginning, it was just a spanking of the Dolphins by the Bills. And this is leaving a lot of questions for these Dolphins. That look like a great franchise. That look like they were in a perfect position almost all year. You know, there's a lot of criticism for them benching Fitzpatrick in the first place. But then the first few weeks, Tua looked great. And then he started to look a little iffy. He played really bad against the Broncos. Struggled a lot last week against the Raiders. And now this week, another week of him struggling. And that's, I think, where we got to start. Tua Tagovailoa. If you're the Dolphins, what the heck do you do? I think you've just got to keep rolling with him because you're not going to have a good draft pick. You're not going to be in the playoffs, but you're not going to be in a spot to get another quarterback. You Hopefully, keep Fitzpatrick there as a nice backup or somebody else if, if you if you can't keep hold on to him and he wants to go somewhere with a better chance at starting. But Tua Tagovailoa, he's had some great moments his rookie year, but he has not had enough for me personally to be able to say, all right, I'm confident with him as the franchise guy. We don't need to look anywhere else. There's no chance that anyone that he won't be the guy. For me, look watching Tua Tago Vailoa, I have some questions, man. That guy, he can he's very precise on those short routes, but when you need to go over the top and you've got a defense that is good at crowding this line of scrimmage and not just giving up screen passes that are gonna go a long way. I don't know, man. You know, he can move, he can scramble, but he's no Lamar Jackson, he's no Kyler Murray run the ball, and over the top. In the, in the deep routes over the top, in the tight windows, he doesn't throw many of those, and he doesn't complete many of them. If you're the Dolphins, I think you just need to go all in and putting him in the best position possible. Don't get me wrong. He's been in a great position this year in terms of having a solid running game with Gaskin and such, and then the defense playing great, putting him in a great position, special teams making plays, so he doesn't have to do too much. But they need to get, invest in some weapons that will allow him to make more plays over the top a little more, more easily because... Right now, he's not going to be able to get it done at a level you're going to be hoping. And I know what you're thinking. Probably there's, peop- there's people watching this saying, Tua is his is rookie year. Relax. He's going to be great. And he might be. But from what I've seen, he's he's an NFL-level starter. I'm pretty sure he'll be a starter for most of his career. I think he's that type of quarterback. But at the same time, I have a feeling he's going to be a guy that, yes, he's going to be starting for a while, but he's going to be a guy that, you're never going you're always going to be wanting a little bit more from him. He's never going to be a guy at the level at the top level, the top of the top that's going to get you wins by himself. And and if you're the Dolphins, what do you do with that? If you've got a young guy that's going to be a starter but he's not the top level guy, I guess you just got to accept it, bring in competition and hope he develops into that guy one day. You never know. He definitely could, but for me, watching these Dolphins, I'm glad they didn't make the playoffs, man. I mean, they're a good team, don't get me wrong. But I'd much rather, I'd much more enjoy seeing the Browns in the playoffs for the first time, watching Lamar Jackson getting that back in the playoffs. So I'm pretty sure if the Colts lose, they'll be back in it. Which don't rule out these Jaguars, but right now that blowout, I'd I'd rather even see the Colts in them because in a game that the Bills didn't need to win, they wanted to move up. They just let Isaiah McKenzie go crazy on them. The third receiver, the fourth receiver for the Bills. Now that's crazy, letting him go insane. And then in the second half. They tried to go over the top sometimes, and it really just didn't work. They, The Bills' defense, their, a lot of their backups just had them stymied. Matt Milano coming up, making great tackles. Tremaine Edmonds getting the backfield sack into Tua. That was, a, and that was a great game for the Bills. And for the Bills, right now, them and the Ravens are probably the hottest teams in football, and they're hotter than the Ravens. So they are the hottest team in football right now. Right as we speak, I would say they're the best team in football. I'm not saying they're going to beat the Chiefs. We'll see what happens come playoff time. But last few weeks, the Bills have been playing the best football in the league. And they're looking real solid come playoff time. Let me know what y'all think. Should the Dolphins, what should they do with the quarterback situation? Just keep with the Tua-Fitzpatrick combo? Let me know. Drop a comment, like, and then subscribe. Yes, sir.